Hi Sagittarius, it is CJ here. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome back if you're part of our family. Sag, I hope you're doing really, really well. Um, hey, we are almost at July already. Cannot believe it. Um, what do I want to say? My mouth is a little jumbly today, so please um, be kind. <laughs> um, I don't know what's going on astrologically, but I've been feeling it for the last few days. Um, so today is June 27th, 2024. It's um, Thursday. Um, but again, this is timeless, so whenever you come to this reading, it might have something specific in it for you, Sag. Um, we're just going to get right into this. Obviously, thank you so much for all your love and your support, being part of our family. I love you so much, and uh, it just is a wonderful place for us to share our energy and connect, right? Uh, as well as if you'd like a private reading, all that information is down below. I'm, I, I want to get into this reading because when I was meditating on your energy off camera, it was really interesting because I heard the words, eyes wide shut. Now, I know that that probably is, a, that was a movie a long, long time ago. I don't really, I don't think I've even seen it. I don't know. Um, doesn't, that's not, that's, it's irrelevant. But that came into my head. And so it's coming from my guides. Eyes wide shut. That kind of caught me. Um, there was a little bit of a somber energy coming through as well in the meditation, as well as I seen the color green. So for me, green represents the heart chakra. Um, so I do feel that this reading may be pertaining to something that you, Sag, or could be someone around you, um, might be not wanting to take notice of. So eyes wide shut, right? We always say, I, you keep your eyes wide open, or my eyes are wide open, I can see it all, which does insinuate that we are, we can see everything that's going on, that we're completely aware. But eyes wide shut feels different, and it feels, though, um, to me, the energy that came through, it felt like something you didn't want to see. Now, again, this could be the other person. It could be vice versa. It could be um, who knows. <clears throat> but it really felt like this might be a reading of intensity is what I want to say. <clears throat> because it felt like something that you know or that you are aware of. But for some reason, you're not wanting or can't see it. I mean, even the Four of Swords kept showing up, which is kind of... In, that Four of Swords energy is that energy of needing to rest take time out, disconnect a little bit from your emotions. <clears throat> Excuse me, of course I'm going to get plugged up now that I'm reading. Um, whatever. So I don't know if this is going to resonate with everyone. It might only be for a few of you. But it did feel like this is something you may need to work through. Um, and something that even you might be able to, might need to even release, surrender to. <clears throat> okay, Saj. Now the other thing I want to say here, just before we get into this, I am going to use my spirit animal deck. I felt drawn to use this one today. Still learning the deck, so we are. I am going to take the time to go to the little booklet here and find the energy. And if my guides ask me to read the protection message, I will. Um, so we'll just see. So if you don't want to stick around with that, just fast forward or something. And it's getting quite warm right now in my room. <laughs> so let's get started and see what this is about, okay? All right, I hope you're doing really well, Saggy. All right, Spirit, thank you for guiding me in this reading for beautiful Sagittarius. Those that this is their reading. What does that mean? Eyes wide shut. What is the message you have for Sagittarius? Let's begin. <clears throat> okay, as always, we're going to look at the bottom. Um, okay, wow. We have Nightingale Spirit. This is love is all around. It's number 41 that is a five when you add that up. So it does indicate that there may be some change or some decision that you're needing to make. But again, the Nightingale, 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 the Nightingale Spirit, the bird, beautiful bird, it is about knowing that there is love all around. So I don't know if you're feeling lost, if you're feeling alone. I don't know if you're feeling like something, you found out something and it's feeling like you don't, you kind of, you know, we are people, we can go into denial. I don't know if that is what it has to do. But Spirit is saying that there is love all around. So just reminding you here, I want to keep going. I'm not going to read these ones. We'll read whatever Spirit guides me to. We have the Flamingo Spirit next, which is embracing the in-between. Ooh, interesting. 26, so that's an 8. 8 is from here about your life path. Embracing the in-between. I feel like there is something coming through here. It does feel like you're kind of in a no man's land. Um, not quite in the past, not quite in the future. This is interesting. Let me see one more. We have the badger spirit. Be fearless and bold, number 4. So Sag, this is about some kind of foundation, some kind of... Um, Security, something that could be family, could be friends, could be your home, um, but being fearless and bold. So again, I'm almost feeling like ripping the glasses off, ripping the bandaid off. Okay, I don't know what this is about. Let's get into the spirit. All right, for Sagittarius, thank you for guiding me. Let's begin. What is the message for Sagittarius? 
What is this, Spirit? What is this about? Okay. What is going on for beautiful Sagittarius? Can we get one card? Okay, wow. Okay. <laughs> now, let me just get this deck back together. We have the Canary Spirit that has come out. <clears throat> Sing your own song. It is number 12, so that is a three Sagittarius. And this is the three is about you getting into alignment. So your body, your mind, your heart. Singing your own song. Okay, we're going to need way more. And I want to read this out of the book, but I want to see what's on the bottom. <clears throat> and we have the Turkey Spirit on the bottom, which is Give with Gratitude and Grace, number 61. So that is a seven. Sevens for me usually are either about luck, positivity, abundance coming your way. Or, and, and, or, it can be really about contemplating here. A lot of thinking I'm feeling. I wonder if we're going to have a lot of swords come out. Okay, let's find the book. Fast forward, Sag, we're going to start with Canary, Canary Spirit, if I could speak. Okay, um, let me just find it here. Because it feels like a very special message that's coming through. Okay, so, 27. Talking out loud. Where is this? 27. For goodness sake. Almost there. There we go. So protection or, let me see. I'm going to see what it feels like. Okay, I feel like I'm going to read the just the oracle message. Let's start there. Okay, Sag, let's see if I can hold it and read it. All right, I'm going to hold it down here. Canary Spirit arrives to help you find your authentic voice and express what is in your heart. Free, ex free yourself to experience your inner light and let it shine as Canary Spirit sings to remind you of your inherent joy and to support you as you sing your own song. Now is a time to let the world know who you really are. Canary Spirit message is that you are free to be yourself and express your most cherished desires. I'm going to put this down now um, <clears throat> so I can focus on the words. The world wants to hear your song. If your inquiry is about a relationship, you are being called to fully be yourself, for only then will you find harmony and joy. You can make music with others so beautifully so beautifully when your no, when your note rings true. Okay, um, give me one second, Sag. I'll, I just hear someone at the door. I'll be right back. One second. Okay, Sag, we're back on. Um, so thank you for your patience. So really, think about that. You know, eyes wide shut is what they were giving me in the color green, which is a heart chakra, right? This is spirit saying, you know, it is time really for you to um, be your authentic self and whatever this might be, whatever you might be closing out of your life or whatever you might be keeping under wraps, Spirit is saying it's time to come out, okay? So let's continue. Now the next card we have is the turkey spirit, as I said, give with gratitude and grace. <clears throat> it says, um, turkey spirit's message for you is that you always have the potential for manifesting a re real, a rich reality. For the turkey represents generosity and a celebration of abundance through giving to others. Give freely without expectation and you shall receive. For the manifestation of abundance is happening right now. Align with it by sharing your good fortune with others, whether you give money, loving guidance, the gift of listening, or kindness in any form. Immerse yourself in the flow of generous abundance, being a channel for, for turkey spirit and the desire to spirit, and the desire of spirit, I'm telling you, it's hard for me to read today, and the desire of spirit to see all beings experience the blessings of plenty. Give with gratitude and grace from a wellspring of love and compassion. Know that spirit will respond by giving you all that you need in this moment and all moments to come. Okay, so what I'm picking off from this, these two cards here, <clears throat> again, like I said when I opened up this reading, um, it may not even be about you. It might be someone else that is in your circle that may be very important to you, that they may be trying to, to share with you their authentic self. Um, and they may be asking and needing your gratitude and your grace to be able to share it with you, okay? Interesting message. We're going to just get into the tarot now and let's see how this all flies together. All right, Spirit, thank you for guiding me. Let's start with my Spirit, um, a secret, oh my God, what is happening today? Holy cow, what is happening in astrology for June 27th? If anyone out there, let me know, drop it in the comments because I don't get it. We're going to go into my lights here stuff. Okay, Spirit, thank you. What did I say about the swords? Okay, here it is. We got the Queen of Swords on the bottom. So Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, you may be dealing with one of them. This also could be Spirit's way of asking you to step into this energy. Queen of Swords is the energy of seeing things very clearly, hearing things very clearly, and speaking very clearly. Very um, 
less emotion, more analytical, more to the facts. So even right here, it's feeling like there's something that needs to be cracked open. That eyes wide shut. Okay. Okay. So Queen of Swords, followed by the Four of Swords, Sag. So this was showing up off camera. <clears throat> I can't figure out if this is you or the other person involved here. Four of Swords, rest, recuperation. Look at her heart is outside of her body. So it feels like there could be something that here is like you found something out. And again, I'm not even, this doesn't have to be, this it doesn't have to be a contrast energy. This can be like, I don't know, like finding out someone coming to you and telling you authentically, you know, I don't know, something really personal and that maybe society doesn't get behind. And Spirit may be asking you to please be very graceful in this, right? I, I'm not sure, but the Four of Swords is definitely talking about someone has, being injured, someone being hurt. We have the Queen of Pentacles next, so now it's our Earth Energy. You've got two Queens here. Queen of Pentacles is all about nurturing, right? Groundedness, um, beautiful healing energy, accepting energy, I'm hearing. <clears throat> so um, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Okay, let's see what this is about. And then we have the Page of Wands. And what I'm getting here, like this could even be a child, Sag. <clears throat> this could be a child, um, could be a grown child for sure. I don't know, making some decision here or, or kind of almost hiding some parts of them. Okay, because we've got the Page of Wands, and that's the energy I'm picking up here. Pages are the beginners. This is like, okay, I'm going to go set out on my own path. But they may feel like they're not able to be authentic with what their desires are and what they're wanting. It's strange energy that's coming through this reading. But for those of you that it's your reading, you're going to know. <clears throat> Obviously, it will not be for everyone. Okay, Spirit, what is this about? Show me clearly, please. What is this about? I feel like it's about acceptance. Um... Uh, but I, again, I'm not sure who this is pertaining to. Oh, the Hermit. <coughs> Virgo's card just came out. All right, the Hermit coming out is Major Arcana. So, Sag, I'm going to read it as if I... Um, and again, this could be you. Someone not accepting you. <coughs> someone not being... Um, how can I put this? Someone not being in their grace. Someone expecting you to fit into a box. Someone not willing to kind of give you that beautiful grace and just acknowledge who you are and love you just the same. Because the hermit showing up here is feeling very like solitary, like you may be feeling alone. Feeling like you're the only one, feeling like you're the odd one out. So they're guiding me to read it as if it's for you, but sad just could be for someone around you, okay? So that's how we're gonna handle this reading, the energy that's coming through. But the hermit, right, going within, Trusting yourself for your answers, knowing who you are, but at the same time, this is feeling quite, quite lonely right now. We have the strength card on the bottom, which is Leo's card, and it's another major arcana. Something that's taking courageousness, taking bravery um, to be your authentic self, to stand up for you and what you are all about and what you want and what you love. So maybe eyes wide shut is someone around. Oh, okay. Hold on here. All right. Sometimes it takes me a little bit, Sag. This could be someone around you. This could be a parent to you. This could be a boss. This could be, it could be even a romantic partner. It's, that's what this is feeling like. It's feeling like someone else is going eyed wide shut. They don't want to accept you for who you are. Um, and it's taking a lot of courage and a lot of strength and a lot of determination on your end. Against the other second message though with that turkey is like, you never have to lower yourself to someone else's frequency. So if someone is around that is not accepting your desire to, I don't know, go back to school or <clears throat> to become single, whatever it may be, right? Many different timelines out there. It's like you don't need to lower yourself to their level though. You can stay in your own grace and, you know, with the empathy that they're not showing you, you can show them. We don't always have to go tit for tat is what I'm hearing. So the strength card, okay. Let's keep going. We've got the Eight of Wands. We've got the Star, which is about healing. Okay, Spirit, thank you now. I think I'm, I'm, think I'm picking up what you're putting down. What else can you tell me for Sagittarius? Hell, this could even be your neighborhood, like people not accepting you, you know? 
there, this is a big, there's, it's, this is the energy that's really kind of coming through. Um, they keep giving me the image of a box. And not being accepted. And now the deck is really quiet. Okay, Spirit. Okay, thank you. But whatever this is for you, Sag, it does feel like it's hurt you deeply. Like... It feels rejection. Like there's some part of this reading that is feeling like you've been rejected. Some part of you has been rejected. That you haven't been accepted. That you've been feeling almost like that lone wolf on your own. Um, yeah, and I think that's why the Four of Swords was showing up. Because this might even be something that goes back a long, long time ago, right? This could be from your childhood or something connected to that. You know, sometimes in this world what I've found in my life is that Usually when people don't accept us, it's because they're afraid, because they're scared. They might not want to lose power. Um, they just might be going with what society says. Um, that kind of energy. So again, there's it, now that that energy is coming through of like staying in your grace. Okay, let's see what the... Oh, okay, Nine of Swords is on the bottom. Nine of Swords, Sag, this is anxiety, stress, sleepless nights, worrying... Again, for some of you, this is a feeling of being very isolated, left out. <clears throat> but Spirit is telling you to sing your own song. You are completely beautiful and wonderful in all that you are. Um, okay, let's see what came up. Not taking reversals today. Yeah, okay. I love this because we've got the Knight of Wands, the Magician, and it's followed by the Page of Pentacles. I do love this. Because what this is telling me is there is this energy. So the, the eyes wide shut, I do feel now, is representing someone else. For the most of it. For the most part, right? Of course, it's a general. It's not a one-to-one. -one, so this can be landing in different ways for each of you that are resonating. Um, but this does feel like you're going, going really within and you're getting your bearings and you're getting things figured out in your heart and your mind. And you're deciding to do whatever this is anyways. You're going to still walk your walk and talk your talk regardless of who's on your side or who's not. The magician shows up. Big major arcana because this is spirit's way of coming through saying you can manifest exactly what you want, that you have so much power, um, and you can create the life that you want to, and, and it's just major, right? It's a major, major, major arcana where it's kind of like you can... Um, how others feel about you is really kind of like not your business. I know, though, that this is connected to something to your heart, though, your heart chakra. I need a sip of water. Give me one second here, Saj. <clears throat> and then we have the beautiful Page of Pentacles, which is a new beginning in the earthly realm, right? Yes, Pentacles are our money, our resources, things we can taste, touch, buy, but it's also like, you know, the earth, right? The foundation, the ground that you're standing on, making a new path. Freeing yourself. Again, it's almost like, I know they gave me the word surrender before, but it's like surrendering to the knowledge and to to the awakening of like, um, there are going to be people in this world, whether they can, and then they sometimes can be the most important people that they should be in our, in our life that disagree with who we are and the song that we're singing. And this is almost showing like there's this growth going on that you're getting to this place where you accept yourself. And that is where it really starts from, right? It really all starts from you loving and accepting yourself um, and not trying to make everyone else happy. There's something about this coming through. Okay, let's stay with this deck, please, Spirit. What else can you show me for Sagittarius? For those that this is their reading. Four of Wands, beautiful. Celebration. Celebration, having um, lighter times, being very proud of yourself, having the right people in your life that will celebrate you. We've got the Eight of Pentacles on the bottom again, so this is like there's still work to be done. But at the same time, you're at the Eight of Pentacles. It's kind of like the um, what whatever energy was left or. Um, instilled on you, put on you about not being enough and um, or not doing what you're meant to do, what society says you're meant to do. You're, you're growing in that, that beautiful way of really accepting yourself and there's something freeing about this reading that's coming through here. Okay. Yeah, because we have the four of cups that was underneath. Uh-huh. Look at this. <coughs> Eight of pentacles. You're working. You're continuing to work. 
you're getting there. Four of Cups underneath that was like, hey, I'm kind of just sitting here stagnant. Um, perhaps not, not maybe even a little fearful of like coming up with coming out with whatever this is that has not been accepted by others. And then we have the devil. So this feels like a controlling energy that has been around you. Because the devil's Capricorn's energy. Look, it could be even be um, a partner. Maybe you're wanting to do something different in your life. Maybe you're wanting to, like I said, go back and get, um, go back to school or get a different job or start your own business or something. And maybe someone is not supportive of you in that way. And you're feeling quite isolated. The devil, right? Controlling. Okay, let's show me more, please, spirit. The four of wands, and the four of wands can be a marriage card too. So this could totally be someone not supporting you in your life. Um, but again, so eyes wide shut, is that like, would that be a person that could be your mate, your partner, whatever? And you're like, you know, I want to do this. I want to, I want to, I want to do this in my life. And they might be going like, la, 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 la. I'm not going to look at this. I'm not going to even entertain this. That's kind of what it's feeling like. <clears throat> okay, Spira, show me more, please. You shine your light darn bright. Don't let anyone ever dim your light, no matter who they are. Is there anything else for this deck spirit? Yes. As I just said, you shine your light, regardless, whatever this is. For some of you, <clears throat> this could even be like a sexual, um, I don't know why they're giving this to me. I'm not really sure what that, what they're giving me though on that. Like, you know, sexual inclination or, you know, I don't know. I don't know why they're giving this to me. It's almost, but it's almost feeling like someone is not accepting. I don't get this. But the Four of Pentacles is coming out, which is definitely saying, hold back. You know, you don't have to give all yourself to this person. You don't have to give all of you to get them to accept you, to get them to love you. I hope this is making sense because I know I'm struggling and I'm struggling with the words. This feels like a reading where whoever's reading this is for it either is you or not being accepted. You've been shut down. You've been dimmed out. <clears throat> um, or someone around you has. And this is the message of doing it anyways, right? Going ahead and doing it anyways because you're doing it for yourself. You're not living your life for everyone else. Um, and I feel like there, this is like taking your power back even. Okay, so this kind of came out sideways, which kind of makes sense too, because it's like you're not cutting everything completely off, but perhaps you're just going to take a step back and not allow it to matter so much. We have the Three of Cups on the bottom, beautiful, so we have the Four of Wands, we have the Three of Cups celebrations, joy, happiness, finding the people that will accept you, finding your soul tribe. <laughs> we have us all here, which is amazing. But even in reality, finding the people that actually align with you. Because we have the Five of Pentacles underneath that, which is a very a lonely feeling. This is the abandonment energy. Feeling like you are not enough. Or what you are is not accepted. Okay. Let's see. Show me more, please, Spirit. Thank you for guiding me in this reading for beautiful Sagittarius. Seven of Swords with the Nine of Pentacles. <clears throat> Some of you may want to be wanting to keep something under wrap. Again, um, this is interesting because it totally does feel like there is... When I get this kind of energy, this is a little bit of a different energy, but it, they kind of bring it down to like childhood and parents. That, that's what my gods give me. They bring it to me of like you doing everything you're, you're, you're told to do, you're trying to follow the rules, you're trying to be everything that your parents want you to be, but inside there's this other part of you, like maybe your parents, and I'm gonna use this as an example, maybe your parents, and again, it doesn't have to be parents, right? It could be a partner, a friendship, whatever it is. But you know, maybe your parents are like, you're gonna go and you're gonna become a lawyer. That's what you're gonna do for your life. You're gonna become an attorney. Meanwhile, you're like, I want to, you know, um, start a band. Or I want to be an artist. I'm using this as just as an example. And it's kind of like that energy coming through. And then if you, maybe you become the attorney, but then you're like, you still have this urge that you're like, you know, this isn't what satisfies my heart. 
this is actual work and I want to do something that brings joy to me and maybe brings joy to the world. And then there's that kind of like non-acceptance. That's the energy that's coming through this reading. And the eyes wide shut now is really feeling like someone does not want to accept you or your decisions or your desires or what your wants. They don't want to accept that. And again, this is something to do with their problem, their fear. Their fear of losing you, their fear of not having enough control. I don't know what it is. But see, the Seven of Swords is right, two ways I'm reading this. One, you may be hesitating to bring it out to light, right? Keeping it, keeping it quiet until you feel strong enough to bring it out. But also, this can represent the other person or people involved that they are trying to sabotage you. Whether they are aware of it or not, right? Sometimes that's sub done unconsciously. We have the Nine of Pentacles on the bottom, which I love about this energy coming through because this is a non-gender specific reading. Yes, this is a female on here, but this is like, I'm independent and I am standing on my own two feet. And yes, it might be a little scary and it might hurt to, you know, lessen my connection with whoever this may be. But I've got this. I am going to be very independent and able. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune underneath that, which is beautiful, saying... Your destiny, as you move forward, changes. Everything starts to come towards you because I do feel like when we are not um, truly authentically ourselves because we shift shape, shape shift, <laughs> in the emotional way, depending on who's around us, it can stop the flow of the abundance that wants to come towards us as the turkey spirit is giving and saying. So we even have the Five of Swords underneath that. So again, the Five of Swords is arguing, criticizing, you know, not being good enough. And then we even have the Two of Swords. So do I say it? Do I not say it? Do I bring it to light? Do I not bring it to light? That's what this is feeling like. I need another sip of water. <coughs> um, hmm. Very interesting. Okay. Is there anything else out of this deck spirit? Okay, thank you. Five of Wands, right, with the King of Cups on the bottom. All right, so Five of Wands, Sag, this is your energy, Aries and Leo. Again, um, this is the energy of combativeness. This is arguing. This is fighting. I don't know what the hell this is for ind individually for you. It's got to be pretty hard, though, whatever this is, because I can feel the love that you have, but I can feel the shutdown from the energy that is around you. And Spirit is definitely bringing that to my attention that... It's almost like, oh, the word surrender. Okay. So as I was using that example of like, you know, expectations, right? The expectations that have been placed on you. The word surrender, I thought that was for you. I think it's for the other person. They're almost like, they don't want to surrender for some reason. I don't know what that is. It's like they don't want to accept and it doesn't make sense to me because it's like, you know, we don't always have to agree in this lifetime. Um, it's okay to disagree. You can still love each other. So that five of wands tells me that there's drama going on. And then we have the king of cups on the bottom. Um, masculine inside, I read this as cancer, but could be Pisces or Scorpio. This is about bringing that emotional groundedness and maturity into the situation. And also, loving yourself enough that you don't allow whatever this may be to cause a detour in your emotions and, your, and what you want, right? In your heart chakra, again. Because that green, the green in the heart chakra, this is about healing. You know, it's about expanding. It's about loving and opening up. It can even talk about, you know, having to forgive. Now, when we forgive, we forgive for ourselves. We don't forgive for the other person. It depends on what level this is at, Sag. But nevertheless, I do feel that whoever this is involving, I think they're going to come around with that six of wands here. Acknowledgement, right? Being seen. I just heard the word vindicated. Okay. So for some of you, this might go really, really deep. I'm going to go into my fountain deck. Um, it's a, I always feel it's a little bit more of a healing energy deck. Um, let's, let's see if we can get any clarifiers or any more information. I hope this is helping whoever this reading is for. So if this is you, you, and I'm talking to you, and you're understanding what this is, and it is someone that's getting in your way, they're not allowing you to be who you are, there's expectations they placed on you, there's unacceptance for 
parts of the of you that they don't want to they want to keep their eyes wide shut again this is a, this is going to be a very personal situation for you but you got to lean into you lean into what you believe god's source angels guides all of that and try try to minimize the effect that this people because again i'm getting it for one person i'm getting it but it could be more than one that are completely uh, feels like um up against what you're wanting to do here okay eight of coins on the bottom again so it's continuing to still work to be done seven of wands yeah i got me to look at it seven of wands you're feeling like you need to defend yourself feeling like you need to protect yourself perhaps putting the walls up and sometimes putting some walls up or is it boundaries right boundaries are needed <clears throat> all right spirit what else can you tell me thank you so much for guiding me in this reading show me more oh deck just was really stuck there this deck is feeling very heavy at this moment Nine of Cups where I stop. So your wishes, your dreams, your hopes, they come true. But again, there's just, there's, there's perseverance that still has to come in there. Okay, Spirit, thank you. Anything out of my fountain deck, please? Okay. Holy cow. Seven of Swords with the Seven of Coins. Seven of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. And look at the Seven of Swords just landed on the Seven of... Uh, Seven of Swords, land on the Seven of Swords. I really feel this is a strong message where you may need to take a step back and really assess this, these relationships. Um, sometimes, no matter what love is in there, you know, love means to accept another person, you know? Our flaws, our good stuff, our different decisions, it's not always easy, that's for damn sure, especially if we think someone's going down the wrong road. But again, we are not responsible for anyone else's life. We're responsible for the choices that we make and the decisions we make. We can't, we can't get involved in when someone else is doing something and we go, oh no, they're doing it wrong. It's not really our, our, it's not our life and it's not our lesson to learn, right? So there, this Seven of Swords, clarifying the Seven of Swords, again, this feels like a little bit of this could be you holding back and a lot of this is someone else, I don't know, Again, consciously or subconsciously trying to sabotage you. We have the seven pentacles on the bottom, as I said, taking stock. So this might be, for some of you, this, this can be worked through. For others of you, you may have to make a decision that, okay, my boundaries are set. They're not following my boundaries. Maybe I pull back my energy. Um, because that's what the seven of coins is. It is about taking a look at what you've, in, what you've put into something and asking yourself, assessing it, is it meant for you? Should it stay in your life? Okay. The High Priestess next, which obviously, Pisces energy, this is intuition, intuition, intuition. you got to listen to your beautiful intuition, Sag, on which direction to head in. But at the same time, I do feel here, you are... What is that saying? I'm trying to figure this out. What is it that you're giving me here? Do it anyway. Something, 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 but do it anyways. I don't know what this is. I don't know if someone, if they, you know, I don't know, I know it's not a lot to go on, but it's like blank, 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 but do it anyways. <laughs> so again, this just feels like you're stepping into your own, you're taking your power back and you're kind of like not making big apologies for it and you shouldn't because you, as I said, you are meant to sing your own song, you're meant to do what is meant for what you know is good for you. No one else can tell you that. Okay, spirit. <clears throat> Thank you. Anything else you have for Sagittarius? Very different reading today. Don't let anyone pressure you into doing something or not doing something um, just because they say so or they feel that they don't want to hear, hear what your desires and your dreams are. Um, okay, this deck is quiet, so we'll go three times. I'm going to say that. Three times we don't need to. Okay, no reversals today, so... The Six of Cups. Wow. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So Six of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. S Six of Cups is the past. 
So whatever this is, whoever this is, it may be a different person now, but might have, there's, there could be a pattern here. This is the energy of your past. So again, I feel like whatever this is involving, it is connected to your past, it's connected to your upbringing, it's connected to the times you felt accepted and the times you didn't feel accepted. And I do feel that this is the big one where people don't like it, you're still going to do it anyways because you love yourself. And again, you know, yes, we have to be loving and kind. And as the, the turkey says, you know, um, just because someone is not able to have their eyes open and be, you know, have an expansion to be able to, okay, this isn't good and that's good. And I might not have done that, but you're doing it. It's not, you're not my place to put judgment on. Um, at the same time, there's just no, they don't, the, the other people, they don't understand, they don't have the power. And if they love you, they're going to support you. So their spirit is just confirming that this is connected to your past. Bottom of the deck, Sag, we have the fool. So this is the new start, the leap of faith, the I'm doing it anyways, even if you don't like it, I'm going to follow my heart. This is my life. This is my path that I'm on. <clears throat> so you have the, you've got the opportunity to have this brand new cycle start, a brand new path. But again, you see the eight of swords is underneath that. You've got to free yourself. You have to free yourself. And Sag, you're the only one that can do that. Everyone around you, and that goes for all of us, right? <clears throat> People can only have power over us if we give them our power, if we give them our energy. So however this may be for you, my love, it feels like keep yourself vibration, vibrating on a higher fre high frequency. Don't lower yourself to those around that are maybe not happy for you or just who knows what's going on here. Um, but you don't ever have to sacrifice your grace, your integrity for anyone else. And the best way to do that is just hold yourself in grace, right? Again, I do feel you're going to be rewarded here for following your path, following your passion. Um, beautiful things will be coming towards you. Um, you know, I really kind of... I wonder if I should read the turkey spirit, the protection message. Um, let me just have a quick scan of that, okay? Again, fast forward if you don't want to wait around here. What is the page... Spirits 134. I just want to see. Let's see. Let's read this. Okay, so the turkey spirit. This is a protection message. Are you giving? Okay, are you giving in order to receive in kind, keeping tally of how much you have given and what is owed of you? This is not the way to experience abundance. When turkey spirit is in the protection position, it is a reminder to let go of any perception of scarcity or fear that if you give too much, you will not have enough for yourself. Use your spiritual practices to reconnect with spirit and remember how it feels to embody abundance. And you will give as much as needed right now. Know that whatever you need to fill your store to fill your store your stores? What? Know that whatever you need to fill your stores is coming to you right now. Love, prosperity, knowledge, and assistance from allies who are everywhere and want you to be a be a want you to be the abundance you seek. Turkey Spirit is here to tell you that everything evens out when you are aligned with the law of abundance, as Spirit wants you to be. Abundance is yours. Okay, so that feels really kind of connecting here, that this is that energy of, you know, you can still be your big, beautiful self. You don't have to lower yourself to anyone else's lower vibration. And trust that the universe will see that and they will reward you with the abundance, right? Okay, Sag, this is a heavy one for me. Um, I'm not, I can't lie. It feels heavy because it feels very, you know, it, it feels like, I don't know if you felt smothered at any times, because that's kind of what I'm feeling with like this kind of constricted energy of like, okay, I can't wait to get home till I don't have to be around this person right now so that I can be myself. That's what this is feeling like. But I think you're making a big change and I think you are working through it and you're standing up for yourself, which I think is absolutely beautiful. Okay. Wow. Okay, Sag. Um, <laughs> let's go to treasures. We're going to go to treasures. Feels like appropriate deck to see if there's any final message Spirit has for you. I really hope if this is your reading, Sag, that this has helped you. Um, again, spurred you on, confirmed for you. 
whatever this may be. And again, keep in mind, this could be someone else around you um, and you're aware of this, okay? All right, let's see what's on the bottom. We have compassion. Hmm. Oops, drop that one. Let me read it. So it says, allow tenderness and kindness into your thoughts and actions and soften your attitude towards yourself and others. Feel how good it is to be kind to yourself. Lovingly allow the journey of others Lovingly allowing the journey of others, you can be there for them with understanding and support. Let go of sympathy and allow compassion. Allow the feminine energy of gentleness to enter your daily life. Well, okay, again, so perfect card here, perfect card. Um, so this is either for you or it's for the other people um, that may be involved here. Okay, compassion. All right, spirit. This is a big one for me. What is the final message for beautiful Sagittarius? For those that this is a reading, eyes wide shut. Okay. And again, I don't feel like it has anything to do with whatever that movie was, because that sounds familiar to me when it when they told me when they gave me the words. Um, but I don't think it has anything to do with that. It's more of I don't know. Someone is not willing to accept right now. We have two, so let's see. <clears throat> we have doing. So let me show it. This means action. There's a positive energy around you. Make use of it. This is not the time to ask others for assistance. The hermit. <clears throat> it is the time to do something powerfully for yourself. Look at what you have been doing. Is it working for you? If there is something you have to put, if, if there is something you have put off, do it now. Okay, Sag. Beautiful. Thank you, Spirit. That is beautiful because that is the energy. I haven't done it so eloquently today. Um, of saying it, but nevertheless, the message I hope has you've received it. And then we have choice. Oh, shoot. Okay, I can't even believe this first sentence because it's too early with the Six of Cups. Stop making decisions from a fear based childhood, no choice belief. Childhood realities have taught you, childhood realities have taught you a great deal, but it's time to let them go and be an empowered adult. It's time to take charge of your life and make purposeful choices. Now, as an adult, you never ever have no, no choice. Be prepared to look at all options. There are often more choices than you think. Nail on the hammer or hammer on the nail. I don't know what that saying is. I'm in child mode, so that is what it is. Thank you, Spirit. This is perfect. This lines up with this reading. It does no longer have to have any control or grip over you, Sag. The past, whatever that may be for you individually, right? Okay, and if there's something you need to say, something you need to stand up to, the time is to do it now. Okay, and bottom of the deck we have creativity. You are the creator of your universe. You can create, which means manifest, anything. Do not limit what you think you can do because you can do anything. Without judgments, you can lovingly acknowledge what you create, which will open the flow to greater creations. Be open to new ideas, let your artistic expression flow, and allow your inspiration to guide you to new heights. Okay, Saji, beautiful reading though, really beautiful. Just, it was a little bit harder for me to get what was going on here, but that's okay. Um, I, I really hope it helped you, Saj. I hope this made you sense, make it sense. So it's just, again, that energy of like, I wanna go this way, but someone's saying, no, you can't do that, you gotta do this, you know? Um, I, wanna, I wanna move across the world. No, you can't do that because what would I do without you? It's that kind of energy, right? But you have that opportunity to have a brand new start. So, um, very strong, very strong message. All right, Saggy, I am going to let this sit here, and um, I hope it helped you. Again, remember, I love you so very much. You're beautiful, inside out, how you are. Shine brightly. Don't dim your light just to make other people feel um, comfortable or to make them still sit on their pedestal, okay? All right, Saggy, with love, of course, right? Stay in your grace. I love you very much. I'm going to send you big, big, big hugs. You got this. You got this. You got this. All right. Go rock the world, Saggy. Thank you again for being here. I love you. Take care. Okay. See you maybe next time.